Yes, how to find the spiritual teacher, that's a great question, a big question for many people at different certain point in their lives and journey. I think it's important to be very honest with ourselves first. And these days it's easier to find someone, perhaps, I would say that anyway, than it used to be in our, as I call it, over-information age where there's so much access and we can search around the globe, we can search around the country, we can look in bookstores and the internet. We, it's very easy to um, move around individually, physically, and also uh, virtually. And, um, but, but it's important to think about what we're looking for first. What kind of teacher, what kind of practice, what kind of religion do we have an affinity for? And be very honest with oneself, because spiritual practice has to be intimate and personal. If it's to be anything, if it's to be effective and transformative and meaningfully change our life for the better. So looking around and shopping around and checking things out and testing things is very important before you sign on and make a commitment. And then more on the practical side, you could look around, for example, if you want to learn to meditate, look around and find a Dzogchen center or an insight meditation center, a Buddhist meditation center. If you want to learn yoga, yoga center, a good, where the teachers are, and see what the, if that works for you. Or look on the web, uh, ask friends that do it. They would be able to help. Word of mouth is a good way of um, winnowing out what you need. And don't give up at the first um, disappointment or rebuttal. Just uh, you know, keep going slowly but surely. Uh, Seek and ye shall find, as Buddha said. God luck, best witches.